Hi students, this is Mr. Yao. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about 4.13, where we will learn a bit more about projectile motions. So first, these are the formulas and descriptions we have seen before. In feet, we're going to use the negative 16. In meter, we're going to use the negative 4.9. And h of t means height at time t. And t means time, which is typically in seconds. h sub 0 is initial height. v sub 0 is initial velocity. Positive velocity is going to be when it's launching upward. And negative velocity is when it's launching downward. So here it is. A potato is launched from the ground with an initial velocity of 15 meters per second. What is the maximum height of the potato and how long does it take for it to reach the maximum height? How long does it take for it to reach to hit the ground? So that is a review example on things we have learned previously. So to calculate, let's calculate how long it's going to take first because our t is going to be, well, let's actually set that first. H of t, uh, since it's about meter per second, is going to be negative 4.9 and t squared. Then it didn't exactly give you uh, well, it just gave you an initial velocity, which is 15, plus 15 t. But it says from the ground, which means we don't have the, um, the c. Now I can calculate my t first, which is negative b over 2a. So negative in the front, 15 over 2 times negative 4.9, which is basically 15 over a positive 9.8. And that, after rounding, is going to be... 1.53 seconds. Now, in order to actually use the time to calculate the maximum height, we are going to plug it in. So, it is 1.53, plug it in, negative 4.9 times 1.53 squared plus 15 times 1.53. That is going to give me. Uh, 11 point, oh, let me actually uh, try to be, yeah, that's going to be 11.48. Don't forget the unit, meter. So a maximum height is going to be 11.48 meter and takes uh, the 1.53 second to actually reach that maximum height. Next part of the question is asking how long does it take for it to hit the ground. So that means we are still going to use our h of t, so negative 4.9 t squared plus 15 t. But we are trying to find out when the height is going to be here. So that means it's hitting the ground. So we are solving for that to factor t out. Then we have um, negative 4.9 t plus 15 equals 0. This is going to give me t equals 0, which of course, it's uh, from the ground, it's launching from the ground. But that does not mean it's actually hitting the ground at that time, so I'm going to ignore that. Then I can solve for the negative 4.9 t plus 15 equals 0. So t is going to be 15 over 4.9, which is going to be uh, 3.06 seconds. That's example 1, which is a review for things we have learned before. Example two, a pie is accidentally dropped off a ledge 20 feet, or 20 feet high. So h of t, it didn't say anything about in the velocity. That means it's just dropping from zero. And it's uh, about feet. So it's negative 16 t squared. But there's no initial velocity. So it's zero t, then at the end, plus 20. First is asking how long will it take to be at a height of 10 feet? So I just need to. Set this to 10, and I can solve. Negative 16t squared is negative 10, so t squared is 5 over 8. I'm going to take square root, but I can't have a negative time, so I don't even need to worry about the negative one. So it's just going to be 0.79 seconds. The other question is asking, when will it land on someone right below who is 6 feet tall. So this time I'm going to calculate for negative 16 t squared plus 20 that equals to 6. Negative 16 t squared 
equals negative 14, so t squared is 7 over 8. I'm still taking square root. So that means it's going to give me 0.947. That's example 2. Next, example 3. An object is shot straight upward at 192 feet per second. So h of t, uh, since it's about feet, so it's negative 16 t squared, and it's upward, so plus 192 t, then there's nothing else. It's just an object shot. So we're gonna say it's, uh, we're gonna think it is actually from the ground. But I'm trying to calculate how long is it at or above. So it's not just reaching 320. If you think about it, here's what it means. It's gonna travel upward, it's gonna reach 320 at some point, and then it's gonna keep on going and then start dropping back down. Then it's gonna be at the height of 320 feet again. So this time this part is going down, but you see initially it's gonna hit 320, but after it circles back, it's gonna hit 320 again. So this portion is what is asking from here to here, how long is it at or above? So this is the portion that is asking. We're trying to calculate that time. That means you will find a t sub one first and find a t sub two. You're trying to find your distances. So no matter what, we're gonna set it to 320 first. Then we can start solving. Negative 16 t squared plus 192 uh, t minus 320 equal to zero. Uh, you can choose to use a quadratic formula, but these numbers are pretty big, which means you might want to check about uh, the GCF first. It's easy to spot that they're all even number at least, or if you are fast, you can also notice they can all be divided by negative 16. You will get t squared minus 12t plus 20 equals 0. So t minus 2 times t minus 10, you can either factor or use quadratic formula. So one answer, t equals 2 second, which basically means this is a 2 second, and then this is going to give me t equals 10 seconds, so that means the other one is 10 seconds. I'm trying to look for the in-between, so 10 minus 2 equals 8 seconds. That is going to be at or above 320 feet. That is example 3. Last one, example 4. Mr. Yao is launching potatoes. The initial height is 528. Feet. So negative 16 t square, and it didn't say anything about initial velocity, and is actually asking for initial velocity. That means I actually don't know my initial velocity. So plus v sub zero, the rest is going to still be there. So t and initial height is 528. Then you will notice it actually tells you about a time. It takes 11 seconds. So I'm going to put it as 11 seconds. That means I'm plugging in 11 for t, so negative 16, then 11 squared plus, I still do not know my v sub 0, and it's 11 plus 528. The question said it takes 11 seconds to hit the ground. That, mean, that also means to reach a height of 0, so set it equal to 0. Now let's calculate it out. This first part is going to be negative 1936, and then it's plus 11 v sub 0, plus 528 equals 0. Now you can see you are just solving a simple equation. So that means we can add the 1936, subtract 528 on both sides. We are going to get a positive 11 v sub 0 that equals 2, 1, 4, 0, 8. Divide both sides by 11. My v sub 0 is 128. Don't forget a unit it is going to be feet per second. That is example four. That is everything for 3.13c. Thank you.